All right, question of the week in Blex Review number nine. Our question is, which bone do the four rotator cuff muscles insert on? Is it A, the scapula, B, the humerus, C, the cervical vertebrae, or D, the clavicle? Which bone do the four rotator cuff muscles insert on? So I'll give you a few moments to look at this question, and then we'll go ahead and head over to the explanation. All right, so in the community tab, I asked which bone do the four rotator cuff muscles insert on? And we had a great turnout. We had 24 votes on this question. 63% said the scapula, 21% said the humerus, 8% said the cervical vertebrae, and then 8% said the clavicle. And then thank you for the three people that liked this post. So first off, we need to look at the four rotator cuff muscles. Here we have the posterior aspect of the scapula, and then we have the anterior aspect of the scapula here. Now, we have the supraspinatus, which is this muscle here. We have the infraspinatus, we have the teres minor, and then we have the subscapularis. What you'll notice is that the attachment sites for all four of these rotator cuff muscles are the scapula and the humerus. Automatically, we can eliminate C, the cervical vertebrae, and D, the clavicle leaving us with a 50-50% chance of either selecting scapula or the humerus. So let's go ahead and take another look at the four rotator cuff muscles. We need to understand what the origin and the insertion is for these four rotator cuff muscles. So let's go ahead and cover origin and insertion. The origin of a muscle is an immovable attachment site for the muscle. Usually it's located near the midline or the center of the body. This is oftentimes the more proximal aspect of the muscle attachment site. The insertion is a more movable attachment site for the muscle. This is often where the action takes place. This is the bone that moves. So let me use the biceps brachii to explain this. It's a little bit easier using it to explain this concept. So we need to know the origin and the insertion of the biceps brachii. So what I can see from this picture is that one attachment site is here and the other attachment site is here. So one attachment site is on the scapula, the other attachment site is on the radius. One of these attachment sites is going to be movable and the other is going to be immovable. So when this muscle contracts, what's gonna happen? What is going to move? Is it going to be this end or is it going to be this end. So whenever this muscle contracts the biceps brachii, the distal aspect of this muscle attachment is going to move. This bone is going to move, bringing the arm this way. So this is the movable attachment site, and this is the immovable attachment site, making this the origin and this the insertion. So this question says, which bone do the four rotator cuff muscles insert on. This is a huge keyword, insert. So let's go ahead and look at the four rotator cuff muscles again. We have our supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor, and our subscapularis. When these muscles contract, what are they going to move? When the supraspinatus contracts, is it gonna move the scapula or is it gonna move the humerus? Well, what happens is when the subscapularis, infraspinatus, when the teres minor, or when the subscapularis contract, they're going to pull on the head of the humerus, causing movement at the humerus, meaning that the insertion for the four rotator cuff muscles is on the humerus. So if you chose humerus, you are correct. That means in the community tab, 21% got the humerus correct. Make sure you know this stuff, guys. It's very important that you make sure you have an understanding of the origin, insertion, and actions of the muscle. Remember that the origin is the immovable aspect and that the insertion is oftentimes the movable attachment site. It's very important that you understand this information because 11% of the Imblex will cover kinesiology, meaning that 11 out of 100 questions will cover materials like this. So it's very, very important that you have an understanding of this. I hope that this explanation helps you going forward in understanding the origin and insertion of our muscles. Y'all have a wonderful week ahead and I will see y'all in the next video. Y'all take care.